Hey guys, how's it going? For those of you that didn't see my last video, my name is Micah, um, and I'm an intern here at the Bible College in Japan, and so I, I basically just work with the church and, and help with the Bible College uh, here in Japan. And uh, today I just wanted to share with you, actually it's my life uh, passage, and that's Luke 23 uh, verses 39 through 43. Um, and so the purpose of, of me sharing with you guys today is just that you would have faith um, and, and recenter your life on God's grace, right? Um, and rest in the promise that um, he will not forget you, that you are saved. And so uh, the basic idea of this portion is that you'll see that um, there's this one criminal, right? And he's going to scoff at Jesus as he's on the cross. Um, and, and, and he's going to tell Jesus just to prove himself, right? But then on the other side of Jesus, there's a criminal and he's going to ask um, to be remembered by Jesus. And so during Jesus's life, um, as some of you guys know, um, most Jews at the time assumed that they were destined for salvation, right? They assumed that it was their birthright as uh, God's chosen people, right? But Jesus taught um, something that was kind of contradictory to that, right? He said basically that that's not enough, right? You need to uh, know the Son, right? That's basically what he was saying. And so this is something, a question that um, that really has been around since the beginning of time is where will I go after I die, right? This is something that is constantly on the mind of every single um, person in the world, right? And it has been for forever. Right. This is a, is a common question. Where will I go? Um, if you think about it, there's there's thousands of theories and methods uh, to get to heaven out there. Right. People think they know how to do it. Right. Um, some people believe, you know, you have to do you, your good has to outweigh your bad. Some people believe you just have to pray enough. Right. If you think about it, um, a, like a devout Buddhist will be endeavoring to detach himself from worldly comforts, right? But on the same hand, uh, an atheist will probably be endeavoring to connect with those things, right? In order to find comfort. And so what you believe about where you're going after you die, it has a dramatic effect on the way that you live your life. It's a very important thing. And so it's, it's important that as a Christian, you know, right? And so I just want to read um, Luke 23 verses 39 through 43 Say, um, says that one of the criminals hanging beside him, this being Jesus, scoffed. So you're the, the Messiah, are you? Prove it by saving yourself and us too while you're at it. But the other criminal protested, don't you fear God even when you have been sentenced to die? We deserve to die for our crimes, but this man hasn't done anything wrong. Then he said to Jesus, Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. And Jesus replied to this man, he said, I assure you, today you will be with me in paradise. And this is the, the my, really my life verse. I assure you, today you will be with me in paradise. And this phrase that Jesus says, I assure you, or assuredly I tell you, it actually is translated from the word amen and it's at the beginning of a sentence and it basically means that this is a promise right this is jesus assuring him he's declaring right he's he's making it sure for this man he's saying um, that this is truth i give you assurance and confidence that i will not only remember you today um, but you will be with me in paradise essentially he's saying you have been saved it's as a promise, right? Jesus is encouraging this man to trust that grace and faith have sealed him once and for all. And, and really this is to give him rest, right? And so uh, today we know, we know that not everyone is, or no one is perfect, right? That's a, that's a common understanding is even, even people that aren't Christian know that. Everyone knows that. No one's perfect, right? We've all failed. We've all fallen short. We've all given up at once, uh, at one time, right? We've all made mistakes or fell flat, right? We've all made ourselves enemies of God at one point in time. Um, but Jesus paid an astounding price, right? In order to save you, he endured torture and ridicule because he loved you. So today, even though 
um, we all come here, you know, we all come uh, with our own baggage, right? We all come with our own faults, our own failures, our own problems, our own reasons why we believe we're not good enough, right? Despite all of that, though, uh, we can rejoice because we know um, that he has given each one of us grace and everlasting and unconditional love. He loved us despite our failures. And so we don't need to focus on those things or all the reasons why we're not good enough or why um, we can't make it or we our good doesn't outweigh our um, bad, right? We don't need to focus on those things. In fact, we shouldn't be focusing on those things. Instead, we should be focused solely on God's grace and his love, right? And so once again, the purpose is just that we would have faith and recenter our lives on God's grace and that that would produce uh, rest and that we would focus on uh, just his promises to forgive us once and for all. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. And if you liked it, um, please feel free to like and subscribe and come back here for more content like this. Um, now that you've watched this video and you've gotten more of a, a direction on focusing on God's grace and focusing on the fact that he loves you, right? Service is also a huge part in every Christian's life. And so if you're interested more in that, um, I did a, a teaching on that last fall. And so you can click on the link in the corner um, to see that. So once again, just thanks for watching.